So pick up where we left off. Now we have this giant integral that we need to solve. So I've written it out and also I just noticed uh, just now I wrote uh, d phi instead of dr. So this should be dr instead. So I hope that didn't confuse you. It should be dr instead instead of d phi. So now I'm just going to evaluate this integral. I'm just going to ignore these constants for the time being. So the first thing we're going to do is to do substitution. We're going to let u be equal to r squared plus l squared minus 2rl cosine theta. And then essentially we're just going to treat this as a usual single variable integral and then treat theta as a constant and then just to do regular substitution. So this is in terms of r, so 2r minus 2l cosine theta. And then uh, because this is a double integral, so some of you might be thinking uh, when you do substitution for uh, double integrals, you need to consider Jacobians. So you might be wondering whether this kind of treatment is correct or not. So you can actually uh, do the substitution. You can treat the substitution as being this substitution plus a, a theta being equal to a theta. So usually when you do a substitution, you have uh, you define the two variables to be equal to something else. But in this case, I'm just going to keep the theta. And then if you do the Jacobian for this expression, you're just going to arrive at something that's that's resembling something that we're doing just now. So it's perfectly legal to to treat theta as a constant and then to treat this inner integral uh, as a regular single variable integral. So uh, you can see that r minus l cosine theta dr. So you see that r minus l cosine theta times dr is equal to 1 half du. So I'm going to do the substitution. So this whole thing becomes 1 half du. So there's a sine theta in the middle. And the denominator, that's just uh, u to the power 3 over 2, and there's also a d theta. And then for the bounds, when r is equal to 0, that's just 0. When r is equal to infinity, it's just infinity. So you see that at this point, it's actually pretty simple. So there's pretty much no challenge. So in act we can actually break up the, sorry, this should be l squared. We can actually uh, break up the integral because we can factorize the terms. So this expression here, that's equal to 2, so it cancels out with that, so we can just ignore all this. So integrating that, that's equal to a negative 2. So substituting infinity, that's 0. So we get 2 over square root of L squared, which is 2 over L. So this whole integral here is just equal to 2 over L. So this whole thing here, that's just equal to 2 over L. So now we can go back to the original question. We're trying to evaluate this integral, right? So we've, uh, we've calculated this integral. So in the end, it tells us that the answer that we're looking for is equal to this. So canceling out the 8. So this is the final answer. This is what, the, what this integral is equal to.